So when you look at these two sections here, if we understand that equation, again, I'll write it down, y equals a times x minus h uh, plus k, where hk is your vertex, and a represents kind of the slope from the vertex to another point on the graph, we can get all this, the information we need just from a few short points. That point right there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 8. Okay? Well, that's my h and k right there. And I'm going to write it as h and k, but I'll, before I do that, I'm going to look at the slope. And from here, we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. So my a value is equal to negative 5 over 1. Obviously, if it's over 1, you don't have to include the over 1, just like you don't necessarily have to include a 0. But I'm going to write this out as negative 5 times the absolute value of x minus 0 plus 8. I write the minus 0 simply because it's good to get in the habit of understanding that x minus whatever that value is inside uh, the parentheses that represents the vertex. So if I just said negative 5 times the absolute value of x plus 8, that's fine. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the point. It is negative also. That was sort of a subtle oversight there. It's upside down. And whereas you can say that the slope is from here up 5 and over 1, it's also down 5 and over 1. Um, so you don't necessarily want to consider one side or the other to determine the slope, but which direction is the orientation of this thing. Uh, and then something like this, I would say plus 0. <coughs> Your vertex is negative, is, I'm sorry, it's 1 comma 0. You always change the sign of the um, 1 inside the parentheses and keep the sign outside. So 1 comma 0, you go over 1 and up 0, there it is. Um, and now your slope is 1 third, uh, or the a value. So you're going to go up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, up 1 and over 3 again. So it's going to head off that direction. You know, and, and with lines, you just go down and back 3 and establish the same slope. But because it's an absolute value, and this is the vertex, up 1 and back 3 and up 1 and back 3 shows that it is, in fact, going to bounce at that location and head up that way. Thank you.